Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the cute cesspool. I thought before I left the tree planet, I would come down here, as soon as the game responds, and see if I can't get down to this tungsten volcano. We're going to try the crush method of slowly working my way down and forcing the material out of here. And I, uh, hopefully I have enough obsidian to do this. If not, I just need to get down to this obsidian layer. So I want to start cranking the top off of these. And I'm thinking Abyssalite shouldn't. I don't know, I might just dump the Abyssalite somewhere else. I was thinking about dumping it in the water right there, but it might react badly. So let's deconstruct that and put the Abyssalite somewhere else. Make a new one of you, and then we can dump a bit slight. And somehow there's a Paku fillet in there. Got you. Sweep only. Miscellaneous. A bit slight. Yeah, this. This area I had blocked in solid, and so I just dug out all the sedimentary rock, which is now sitting over here. So it's a nice vacuum. Very important. Oh, <laughs> see, yeah. So I was wondering, like, do I have like a natural gas leak? Why is there all this random natural gas appearing? Yeah, where's my new dupe? Oh, you're running on the wheel. Ellie here, the defrosted friend. Yeah, they're flatulent. <laughs> so, at some point I'll have to deal with that coming out of there. And hopefully... Like I said, I have enough obsidian that I can slowly force my way through. I was afraid that her flatulence might come out of a Atmos suit, but it seems to uh, stay in there with her. So she doesn't uh, pump out some gas into this vacuum. At least I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so we want to dig... Oh, that was a mistake. Wasn't supposed to dig that up. As always, digging around magma is a tough problem. Wow. This Robo Miner took a direct hit and I lost power? Is my whole base out of power? <laughs> Why are you all out of power? Um. What the hell happened? Oh, I used up... You're dormant. Somehow I used up all of the hydrogen in here. And these pumps are run... Wow. You know, sometimes you go and you do something and you don't really think about it for a while. So a long time ago, I plugged these pumps into these hydrogen generators. And I have apparently have used it all. Wow, what a, what a mess. Okay, so I need...
Oh, my dupes probably can't even get out here, can they? They are all stuck inside the base. <laughs> okay, so this one is still running. Can I use that power for anything? No, it's not next to anything. Wow. Okay, so let's deconstruct you. That's not a... There we go. Put you on there. That now lets dupes out. With dupes out, I can now do another generator there. There's an unreachable toilet. Why are you... Ah, who knows. What a mess. Okay, so let's focus back here on the main base. Once these guys run a little bit, these will turn on. Oh god, that means all of this is getting hot? Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. There's enough coolant left in there. There, as soon as that happens... What is this? <laughs> what a disaster. Yeah, so as soon as that happens... Now the generators are starting to run a little bit. These are starting to run more. So each time that happens, just a little bit more power comes out of it. Nothing like bootstrapping off of a couple of generator wheels. God, that wasn't even enough. Okay, so we're gonna need another wheel. But that at least got some stuff started. They can now get out of the base. And I'll get two dudes running. And a base with infinite power does not matter if you screw up and don't hook it up to the thing providing the gas. Yeah, there we go. Now that we got a nice steady stream. There we go. Okay, now I think the base has started back up. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Do that. 
Yeah, and whatever polluted water is here can roll off into there, and that should come up through here. Uh, I can't remember if polluted water goes through that. If it doesn't, then we'll swap direction. Yeah, I think we can lower the priorities on these. Actually, we can just disable them. Because now we've got gas backing up. We lower the priority on you, they can run on that all they want. All right, and generator, generator. Of course, that's in the wrong place. And that's already carbon dioxide. Totally not what I was planning to do. And we are going to need a manual generator to start this. Because of course we are. So you are now cooling again. But we aren't actually running the pumps because they're run off of this. Oh, what a mess. I'm sure at some point I got a low battery alarm, but just didn't notice it because those come up all the time. Okay, build the generators. gas would already be coming through there, but apparently not. Come on, you can finish them. There we go. Well, we got one done. Once a bit of gas gets through there. Yeah, now we're pumping. <laughs> okay, disaster kind of averted. How did this... I got up to 400. We have a bunch of solid methane. Wait, possibly. Let's get... Yeah, let's get everything out of there. To. Okay, so there's a few kilograms. Okay, let's come back up here to the top. Alright, they got those fixed. The batteries are now full. And these these pumps should be set to bypass. No, these this one packs in. So you I turn off. And you are turned back off. Yeah, and now we got some generators there to do it manually, because, oh, what a mess. Okay. <laughs> oh, what was I doing over here? Oh, I was trying to dig down into there. I think I can deconstruct that and do that. Fun. Uh, it's going to be one of those where I'm going to have to build this up. Oops, that one was not made out of obsidian. 
There might be some scalding. Oh, don't stand in the magma. Replace those with insulated. This helpful fella can actually finish building first before I let all the magma back in. Need to do that, and then I can do temp shift plates. A big nice rock. Actually, I can probably do temp shift plates of sedimentary. Which will then turn into igneous. Alright, let's see how well that works. So we want temp shift plate. because there's a bunch of it sitting right there. So how do I deal with the magma? I want to get that sorted out. If I start to overpressurize this, I'm going to blow everything up. So I guess I just come straight down and then start getting the magma out the other way. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Ah, nothing like them dropping them obsidian down into the magma and then having to go get it. There's going to be a bit of scalding. Ooh, stinky, you're hurt pretty bad. Oh, you're already assigned. Perfect. I think we're going to want a couple more triage carts. Let's just have everyone hang out in a vacuum. Now that my dupes are mostly healed, I can continue on this path. We just put in insulated tiles. I guess I need to dig this down first because some of my obsidian ended up outside. Yeah, it won't even let me queue them up out of obsidian. Yeah, I need to dig the obsidian in order to get the insulated tiles out of obsidian, and then I can do the same thing with the Tim Shift plates and convert all this magma. And there's going to be some more scaldings. And of course, my slowest dupe went to take a bath in the magma and is going a bit slow, so. <laughs> oh, just had me take a break. But now that's all insulated in, my building dupes can make triage carts. Actually, we're going to move Ellie over to this one. Assuming you can get back in there. Uh, Ellie made it back in, and then I just locked the door on them, so they're not allowed out for a little bit. And in the meantime, where's my sedimentary rock? Let's uh, go the dupes, but we'll slowly get this all converted into igneous. 
and then I can actually dig around. While I'm waiting for all my dupes to uh, get healed up, I did print out some hatches here, so I could technically make a hatch ranch to feed the tree. But there's no actual source of rock, there's just magma. How did that form? Must have dripped out of this, even though it's not built yet. Weird. Is that everybody? Nice, everybody's either healed or on a cart. Hopefully I won't need five triage carts so I can get rid of a couple of these. I'll leave one close by. In fact, I'm gonna move it over here. Just so I can start to work on a steam room in there. Just so in case anyone does get hurt, there's a cart right next to him they can grab. they building these? Weird. I think the materials melted out of it and the game didn't know what to do. Oh no! That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Eh, I guess it's not horrible, but it's bad. it did. Luckily no one was in it. Alright, nobody fall in the magma. I know you idiots. They're gonna fall in the magma. Stop delivering and actually build. You're building the priority seven thing. Don't build these. These. Priority seven. Really? Nobody. What is going on that they just give up in the middle of building something? Get it. Again, they just gave up in the middle of building that. Is there like a bug going on that I don't know about? Yeah, again, they, they thought about building it and then they stopped. It's just weird. Yeah, okay, now build this one. Stuff starting to solidify, that's good. Temp shift plates made out of. Where did you go? Okay. I mean, it's a lot of hot dupes, but they should. Yeah, temp shift everything away. Good work, dupes. Now let's put a triage cart back in. And I can start on the section. You're gonna have some hot dupes, but this is working.
But don't stand in the magma. God, dukes are so dumb. You can build from on top of it. Well, at least he get, didn't get entombed in it. And again, what is up with this? Where it seems like they finished building it and then don't. I don't understand. And my slowest builders are doing it. And it does seem to suck a whole bunch of heat out of here, which is handy. We're gonna dig all this up. Oh, I'm running low on time. So my goal is, we'll do that real quick before we end this episode. We're gonna do that. And now I'm gonna fill this entire area. I'm actually running low on sedimentary rock. Fine. We'll do sedimentary and then we'll do granite. We're basically turning everything into igneous. Is that all my granite? Yeah, so we're going to do all these rock tim shift plates and then I'm going to open this up and let this magma drip out and turn into rock chunks, hopefully. So now if I deconstruct this, all of these are 45 degrees. And then I can put this back in. Maybe. And then we come in here with some igneous rock tim shift plates and repeat the whole process all over again. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing for a little bit until I can get all of this magma out of here. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Keep an eye on your other bases, because, yeah, sometimes you just kind of forget that you set something up and used up. I mean, two of these were full. That was a lot of hydrogen I burned. <laughs> anyway, let, let me know what else you guys want to see on this playthrough. I'm going to tame this, and I think I want to do a big machine. But I'll you know, look forward to your comments and see what you want to see.